These are NBA game winners from level 1 to level 100. Murray, Doncic, Curry, way downtown, bang, bang! And at level 1, Kyrie did this sorcery with his left hand. Irving for the win! Oh, oh my, my god! A finish! Just absurd! Only Uncle Drew would have disrespected the MVP like that. Don't worry, Jokic was unstoppable at the buzzer too. Just watch this unbelievable heave for the win. Clock ticks, gotta put one up. Jokic for the win! Oh! It's good! Jokic got it off in time! Damn, he chucked that one from the parking lot. But this dagger was from another zip code, because Max Struss redefined Clutch from past half court. Struss from midcourt. Oh! <laughs> That was insane. Those game winners don't have limits, but imagine redefining gravity. Cause for level 15, De'Aaron Fox took flight. And he did a oh, goal! You don't oh, like that! Oh, oh. You don't like NBA basketball! The 20 year old comes flying through the air! Dude had those announcers losing their minds. But at level 20, picture almost losing your head. Cause Anthony Edwards went for a block and sacrificed his dome. Pacers uh, have a chance. Okay. Up ahead, Neesmith. Blocks! Edwards getting up! And good night! And, I mean, oh, Anthony Edwards he hit his head under the backboard. Ant-Man had everyone scratching their heads. But look, we're at level 24, and the stakes are getting higher. Just watch how Jason Tatum spun into a buzzer beater. Inside, Tatum spins, and he puts it in! Dude, he looked like a ballerina on a mission. I guess being a Celtic comes with a clutch boost. You see, Derek White came out of nowhere and saved the Celtic season. For the seventh game, no, Melvin tipped in, but the buzzer sounded, the White was on. I don't think he got that in in time. Great effort by Derek White. Oh, he got Long rid of it. Time. He That's sure a did. Celtic and win, and, and we're and going the to game seven. My man broke their hearts and made history in one tip. But that's not even in the same league as level 30, because LeBron ripped an entire country soul away. It's going to be James. Oh, here it is. It's under, it's three under seconds three. to go. Throws up the floater. Oh, oh, Good night, Cleveland. That is for you. James with the game winner. Sorry, Lebronto. I mean, Toronto. You'll never live that down. But our level 35 game winner turned this player into a superstar. Booker, this is for the win. Got it! Wow! What a shot by Devin Booker. Devin Booker's shot didn't just win the game, his pose turned him into an icon. But imagine turning the game winner into the best signature move in the NBA. Because Luka Doncic still has the Clippers recovering with this move. Back to Doncic. Doncic pulls up, three-pointer. Bang! Bang! It's good! Doncic wins the game at the buzzer! Luka's step back has broken more hearts than a rom-com. But anyways, our level 44 game winner should have never happened. You see, Devin Harris lost the ball, regained control mid-air, and heaved the prayer. Simmons gets it into Harris. Harris thought he was five. Harris scores! It's good! And the Nets, in an improbable fashion, have defeated the 76ers. Wow. You can't make this stuff up. Now, you'd think you've seen it all, but the Hornets had no hope to win and pulled off the impossible. You see, Jeremy Lamb lost the ball in the last play and made a shot out of a video game. Siakam disrupts it. Lamb has to throw it up. Oh, it goes! A desperation three. That was truly ridiculous. But listen, we're in the top 50, and the heroics are even crazier, just like our level 13, because this couldn't have happened in a video game. Just watch Devontae Graham when he launched the longest game winner in NBA history. He was trying. Oh, Graham! Count the bucket for the win! Devontae Graham walks it off. Sheer disbelief. My man had no clue he was setting records, just like our level 55 moment. You see, DeMar DeRozan had no idea he would become a legend. DeRozan to win it! Go! Oh! DeMar DeRozan delivers! 
But one game winner wasn't enough. And he said, let's run it back. To DeRozan. Two seconds in the corner for three. And the win again. He does it. Back-to-back games. Holy cow. DeMar DeRozan breaks the hearts of the Wizards. That dude is a straight assassin. So we've hit level 60. So you know these next heartbreakers are unhinged. We got to talk about Jamal Murray in the playoffs when he shattered dreams. Murray makes a move. Game's over. The Nuggets have won. But one time wasn't enough for Jamal Murray. So he sent the Lakers home for good. Jokic just screen Murray to try to break the tie. My man has ice in his veins, but at level 65, this legend showed why he's the most clutch player in NBA history. See, Kobe Bryant wasn't going to let this playoff game slip away, and he made the play of a lifetime. Ball knocked away, stolen by Parker. Oh, there it is. Here comes George to Kobe Bryant. Bryant inside. It's good. It's good. Tie game. But wait, the job wasn't finished. Kobe was out for it all, and he put the nail in the coffin. Final seconds. Bryant for the win. Bang! He straight flexed on him. All respect to the Mamba, but he never put up a performance like level 66. You see, Russell Westbrook broke the NBA record with his 42nd triple-double in a season but he still had to win the game. And he dropped 50 points with a dagger. Skips it back to Ross. Deep shot. What a perfect ending to a historic day. That's not a performance. That's a statement. But he's not the only one doing the unseen while making history. Because Steph Curry was straight up fire from three, needing just one more to tie the record for threes in a single game. So he launched this shot from the nosebleeds. Curry, way down to He was out there shimmying like he didn't just torch the court. Now imagine a whole country being set on fire. See, it was game seven of the Eastern Conference Finals, and Kawhi Leonard put Canada on his back. Off the Leonard, defended by Simmons. Is this the dagger? That shot had grown men crying like babies. But look, we're still climbing, because next on our list, it was 2015 Game 3 of the playoffs, and Derrick Rose was out there with one mission, call game, and boy, did he call it. Finds Rose. Rose trying to get open, fires away. Bang! It's over! The Bulls win at the buzzer! And the Bulls take a 2-1 lead in this Eastern Conference semifinal. That wasn't just a game winner, it was a meme maker. D-Rose went from MVP to meme legend in 0.5 seconds. But LeBron, oh, you know LeBron wasn't having that. He took the meme personally. Game four comes around, and LeBron clutched up like the human cheat code and saved the Cavs season. James for the win. It's gone. LeBron James at the buzzer. Stuns the Chicago Bulls, and the series is tied at two games apiece. What a finish here at the United Center for the second straight game. The Clutch knows how to make a comeback, but imagine the greatest comeback of all time. You see, the Clippers were down by 35 points in the third quarter. Most teams would have packed it in, but not these guys. They decided to make history tonight. They closed the gap, and on the final play, down by three, Luke Kennard steps up and makes it a four-point play of a lifetime. Kennard, the three for the tie. Oh, my goodness! I don't believe what I have seen! We are tied at 115! Luke Kennard put the Clippers on top. Oh my goodness! The Clippers battle back from 35 and win! That was unreal, but the player at level 85 knows about a last second comeback. Gotta talk about when Tracy McGrady scored 13 points in 33 seconds. You see, the Rockets were down by eight with 33 seconds left against the Spurs, and the home fans were already beating traffic. First, T Mac hit a cool three. Here's McGrady for three. Then he nailed an impossible four point play. Bowen is all over. McGrady foul is picked up. Oh, a potential four point play. Four point play. 
you should have to. Now things got serious. Another three had the Spurs sweating. He finally gets it in to McGrady. McGrady over four and four. Three. Oh, yes! And just when you think it couldn't get crazier, T-Mac buried a three to shock the world. And Brown lost it. Here comes McGrady. No turnout for McGrady for the win. Yes! And the Rockets steal a game from the Spurs. I can't believe what just happened. But what was done at level 90 is unthinkable. You see, in the 2010 NBA season, Kobe Bryant became the Lakers' on-call surgeon because he saved his team not once, not twice, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven times. It's like every other week, Kobe was out there saying, don't worry, I got this. Artest looking, gets it to Bryant. Bryant dribbling, has to put it up at the buzzer. Banks it in! But look, we're at level 95, so you know we're about to talk about the GOAT. Look, Michael Jordan and the Bulls were in the 1998 Finals, trying to compete for the second 3 P of the decade. Jordan knew it was the last time he would be playing for the Bulls, and maybe even for his career, so he had to make it special. The Bulls were down one point, and they needed to get the ball back. Jordan came out of nowhere to snatch the ball from Karl Malone. He didn't want to go to a Game 7. He wanted to end it right here. What he didn't know is that he would make one of the most iconic shots in NBA history. Championship number six. Jordan open. The Chicago Bulls have won their sixth NBA championship. And it's their second three-peat. That push-off was disrespectful, but it was nothing like the disrespect of level 100. Let's talk about when Dame Lillard and Russell Westbrook had beef. It was hotter than a July barbecue. Russ had been bullying Dame since he came into the league, and Dame had had enough. Fast forward to the 2018 playoffs, and Dame had a chance to send Russ home. And what does he do? He pulls up from the freaking logo and drains the shot of a lifetime. Lillard with 47 tonight, working it down to two to one, a deep three. Oh! What? Blazers win the series. A walk-off three from Lillard. Damian Lillard from way downtown. Paul George said it was a bad shot. Yeah, I mean, that's a bad shot. Um, I care what anybody says. That's a bad shot. But you know what's worse? Getting sent home by that shot. And then Dame waves bye-bye to Westbrook like, thanks for playing. Better luck next time.